Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can solve HAX kernel module is not installed while running your Android application. So you made your uh, cool Android application and while running that application, you uh, encounter some message like this that CPU acceleration status hacks kernel module is not installed or uh, it says error x86 emulator currently requires hardware acceleration okay so if you encounter this problem i'm going to show you how you can solve it so the first step to solve this problem is to make sure that uh, this hex x86 emulator is installed on your system so go to your uh, sdk manager or click this small button for SDK manager and open uh, your SDK manager from Android studio and in here just scroll down and at the bottom in extras section uh, just open this extras category and at the last option here is Intel x86 emulator accelerator okay so make sure that this is installed uh, and if it's not installed just select it and install this package so the first step is uh, making sure that intel x86 emulator accelerator is installed so if it's not installed just install it otherwise uh, if you have already installed it's okay so you can close it okay now the second thing uh, to do is you just need to copy this path so if you encounter this uh, problem the first uh, m line of this message is the path of the emulator right so you need to copy this path which is c user whatever your username is slash app data slash local slash android slash sdk so just copy this path until sdk okay rest of the part you don't require okay so just copy this path until sdk c user whatever your username is slash app data slash local slash android slash sdk i will copy this and i will open my file manager and paste this uh, uh, path there which is c slash user slash uh, username slash app data slash local slash android slash sdk and press enter and it will open this sdk folder in this folder you need to go to extras so click this extras folder and inside this extras folder you need to go inside intel folder and in this intel folder you will see this uh, hardware accelerated execution manager click, go inside this folder and inside this there will be a installer called intel H A X M minus Android, and the type of this is application, so it's an executable file. You need to run this, and while running this, uh, you may encounter some problem that uh, it's not compatible. Uh, this uh, hardware accelerated execution manager uh, or Intel uh, is not compatible. So if you uh, find some error while executing this problem uh, right now I'm not getting any error while uh, running but if you uh, find any problem while running this uh, uh, executable file most probably you need to uh, go to uh, your control panel so search for control panel and in this control panel go to programs so go to programs and in here go to uh, programs and feature and in this programs and feature you need to click turn windows feature on or off so click this turn window feature on or off and in here make sure that your hyper v option is unchecked so it will open some of the options or some of the features which are which you can enable or disable so you can see here there is an option called hyper minus v okay and it's unchecked in my case so if it's not unchecked 
you need to uncheck it if and only if this executable file which is hardware accelerated execution manager gives you some problem if it doesn't give you some this problem you don't need to do anything right so you just make sure that this hyper v is unchecked and if it's unchecked uh, or, or if it's checked you need to uncheck it and restart your computer and then only it will work okay so make it unchecked and then restart your computer okay and i'm going to close this and i will go further with this uh, installer which is intel hardware accelerated executable file next and everything is okay you just need to click next buttons uh, make sure or note this uh, value which is default for uh, uh, hardware accelerated execution manager which is 1024 okay so make please make a note of this value which is 1 gb or 1024 mb in my case click next and install and it will install uh, this uh, HAXM manager. It will not take much time. And uh, it's finished. Uh, uncheck this and click finish. So now this uh, Intel HAXM minus Android is installed in my uh, system. And now I'm going to run my program. But before running this program, we need to make sure one more thing. So just go to your um, AVD manager here. Just click this AVD manager. And in here, hopefully this will be your default uh, uh, device, which is Nexus, uh, whatever version of Nexus. This is the default uh, which Android uh, manager gives you or Android Studio gives you, right? Uh, go to this, uh, edit this AVD or click this pencil button here and go to show advanced settings and make sure that this value which is ram value this one is 1024 also so the value should match so we when we ran this uh, program which is uh, intel haxm the value was 1024 mb right so make sure i'm going to exit this Make sure that this value is also 1024 MB. So it's in uh, your uh, advanced setting. And in here, scroll down and go to RAM and make sure it's 1024 MB. So it, the, the value of HAX manager and this RAM should match. Click finish. And it will create or update our AD, AVD manager. And once it updates, we are going to run our program once again and we will see if the problem is solved or not. So I will click OK. And so we can we are seeing the same message. Now we are going to run our program once again and let's see uh, the message uh, after, you know, editing or installing this one and editing our AVD device. So it's uh, preparing our executable file. It will uh, give us uh, the launcher or launch emitter later. I will choose the default one which we have edited. And now see the message here. Hopefully we will see the message that now this is running. This emulator is running. So now it says that HAX is working and emulator runs in fast virtual mode. So now our application is running successfully, right? And we can see that emulator has been started and now your application will run normally. So in this way, you can solve this uh, HAX related problem. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.